YouTube, it's your boy Fishing Ken, Hook City TV. You know I got my main man with me. Hook City. And look, I got another new guest today. New Era 318 Bobber, man. Y'all check him out. My man Tony's on the boat with me. Look, I'm going to tell y'all the truth, man. We have sat out here and put a total whooping. And it's going to be some cooking. Do y'all see that? We got out of here, man, and got all over these crappie heads. I mean, all over their head, their neck, their shoulder. We done stood up on them and jumped up and down. But this is what I want to do, man. So I got out here, we were getting ready to leave. Next thing I know, I see a school of yellow bass. Oh, let me see. They See see all these little bitty jokers down here, man? These are yellow bass, man. These are the most underrated fish in fresh water. And my line dad. They one of the best tasting in fresh water. Tony, you Get ain't to, never had one? Ain't never had one. Trying to try one today. Say, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. One of the most underrated fish in fresh water is the yellow bass. Not to be confused with a sand bass, a hybrid, a striper, or none of that kind of stuff. Today we're going to talk about these yellow bass real quick. I'm going to catch a few, clean a few, and cook a few. It's your boy Fish Ken Hook City TV. Y'all stay tuned. This is gonna be, yes sir. Now, that's my first yellow bass. One thing I can tell you, man, these little jokers right here, they are mean. He gonna flourish gills out at you. He gonna flip and flop. Listen, but we're gonna put that cornmeal on him and he gonna pop. That's right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Ain't gonna use the bathroom on me, nasty joker. That's all right. So guys, this is a yellow bass. What you can see, um, he looks really similar to that sand bass, especially when they're small, but the difference is the yellow tint. If you look, if you catch it just right, that yellow bass has a yellow tint to him, man. This is the most underrated fish in fresh water right here. If you don't know what he tastes like, you'll throw him back. Don't be foolish. You better take these jokers home. We're gonna put a few of these in the, in the live well with these crappie. I'm gonna scrape and cook a few of them. In Texas, you don't have a size limit. They're not a game fish, so we don't have to worry about anything like that, y'all. All right, guys, just like that, man, we are back out here, like I said, ACC Crappie Sticks. Make sure you get you one, acccrappiesticks.com. Go get you something, they got them in stock. We're gonna be using the six foot six ACC. I got my man, Tony, Mr. 318. He got the uh, seven and a half. We're both using um, Shimano and Daiwa, uh, and we're both using monofilament line, man, six pound test. Dad is that back there chilling. You good, Dad? Listen, man, and I got the Euro Tackle eighth ounce soft lock tungsten jig head with the pearl um, Euro tube, man. Go get those, eurotackle.com. Net. Make sure you use promo code Hook City. Man, my fish are trying to move on me, y'all, but let me tell you something, man. We finna get down on these. Yeah, yep, that's them. Um, God dang. Woo! I mean, hit it like a ton of bricks. That good. feel like a, that might be a sand bass. Nah, no, that's a yellow. That's a yellow belly. I mean, hit it like he, God dang, is mad at everybody in the boat. Look at him flaring his gills. Look at there. Do it again. Look at him flaring them gills. Them gill plates sharp, boy. I'm looking at yeah, you decide you want to handle a yellow belly, just know he got some gill plates on him. Uh-oh. He got some gill plates on him. And they are not for the faint of heart. Put him in here. Mm -hmm. What you got, Tony? What you snatching for? <laughs> let's go, man. I ain't cowboy Roy, but I'm acting like it. Yeah, you are. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, big head. Yeah, All right, y'all. On to plan B. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Look, I didn't know the hee-haw was about to come out. We pulled up to this tree, man, as we were looking for the yellow bellies. Look, if y'all if y'all could uh forgive me for this interruption, we're gonna put a few more of these in the box. But we still gonna cook y'all some yellow bass. But man, look, we found a plum tree with a lot of fruit on it. He's just a bad boy. I'm trying to tell you something. And then that little old 6'6. Six, six. Uh, don't come up with all that. Don't come up here with all that. That's another keeper. So what I might do, guys, I got it now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to slip in some of these crappie fillets. Well, I'm going I'm to slip in some of these yellow bass fillets with these crappie fillets and see if my wife and daughter can tell the difference. Let's see. Get a few more of these, y'all. Tony, it ain't, listen, brother. All you gotta do is kick it down, man. Down, man. And they ready for you, too. That's the cold part. They ready for you. If you can, if you can attempt to get it over, there, give me that measuring stick. We're gonna have to count crappies. I think he might go home, too. He do. Just when y'all thought it was over, Fish and Ken did it again. I'll move out your way. I'll move out the way. If you can, uh, 16 foot. I don't know what Tony over here doing. I done put him on feet. He, he got talking that noise about how slow it was, and I had to that dang start fishing. Hmm. You missed that fish. I watched him walk up on you. He walked up like a smooth criminal. Oh no! You got one up on the limb looking at you. Oh, thank you, Lord. You got one on the back side of a limb. Look at you, just dropped down below. Okay, I'm finna care to watch this. Uh oh, what did you get? Well, I told you we were gonna have it. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Yes, sir, Reed. Got him on that camera, Joe Special. I told him on the Thursday night live I was gonna start cutting them tails down on the pretty cheese. I did. Call me a baby, baby. I think this is pretty school. Nine inches. Yeah, nine, nine, yeah, nine and a half. Nine and a half, he don't get cut in half, though. All them, them floor plans I done drew. Man, we gonna, we probably got enough fish. Guys, we, we got enough yellow bass to taste. I got, y'all forgive me, man. Hey, I, I want y'all to forgive me, man. I listen. We started seeing a few yellow bass, and I was like, man, that's a great opportunity for, for a uh, video. But then I pulled up to this doggone tree, man. I had to bring a crappie to his knee, and after that, I just got sidetracked again. So we did a little crappie fishing, did a little um, yellow bass fishing. We got five yellow bass. They're not real big. I'll show y'all when we get in the kitchen. We're probably gonna do a scrape, gut, Clean, clean everything out, you know. Uh, and we're gonna fry them up, man, see what happens. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna catch a few more crappie before we get out of here, man, because it's hot, umbrella is up. My man 318 is standing up. I think he ready to go. <laughs> I'm fine. Enjoy the show. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. let's see what he's doing. He got a Malamute behind him. Oh, uh, never mind. Can you stay back here? Can you back here? Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. Made it back to the house. How y'all feeling over there, man? Feeling 318, real new to good. the channel. Feeling good, man? Real good, man. Say, man, don't you cut her? Yeah, three, New Era Barbershop, Arlington, Texas. Madlock and Arbrook, come see me. Come. Best barber in town. Come on, man, come Best on, Best barber in Texas, seven days a week. There it is. How you feel, Dad? I feel good. Listen, man, we gave it all we had. Now that we didn't, we left alone. Yeah, I cut crappy. <laughs> Listen, we, you cut crappy. That's, that's what, you, so you cut hair, you yeah, cut, cut crappy. 
And, and okay, I ain't gonna ask you nothing else. You <laughs> being crazy. Listen, y'all. Let me show you something. Listen, listen, listen. Now don't get me wrong. Now in this soup, we got, we got. Listen, it ain't, it ain't all bad in there. It ain't all good either, though. Ooh, he, ha. Y'all see it? No, we did our thing, man. But listen, let me come over here and show y'all this. So we do, uh, we do have. Uh, we do have a uh, fish in here. Oh, they're still alive too. These jokers are mean. We got five yellow bass, man. They're not the biggest fish in the world, but we got five of them. We're gonna scrape them and plate them. All right, child, just like that, man. I am back at the house. All of our crappie uh, went to Mr. 318 himself and Hook City, man. I hope they enjoy those fish. What I'm left with is what I said I was gonna make a catch, clean, and cook about. These, oops, these babies right here, yellow bass. Guys, if you can see, hopefully you can see the difference. They're not sand bass, these are actually yellow bass. Um, no slot limit, not a game fish, none of that kind of stuff. So you can take them any size, many as you want. And for a lot of people, they are a nuisance. Um, for a lot of people, they're just little bait thieves. For a lot of people, um, they're just not a fish that you take home. A lot of people even call them bait. I bet you there's gonna be a lot of people in the comment section that are calling these bait. So um, if you um, have never tried a yellow bass, I can tell you now what I'm about to get myself into. So with these fish being so small, we're actually gonna just scale them, gut them, and fry these puppies whole, man. So I'm excited about that, y'all. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. If I could, if I could liken it, well, we'll see it after I do the taste test. But I can tell you now, it is not a sand bass. It is not a hybrid. Um, it is not a striped bass um, or a white. Or, you know, depending on where you are, what you call these things. Um, I'm excited, man, because I've eaten them before. I know what I'm getting myself into, and I'm ready to get down on these fish. So we're gonna try an underwater scaling technique. Let's get into that now. Hopefully it works and I don't get in trouble for scaling fish in the house. Y'all pray for it. fish to clean use a ziplock bag and freeze the guts so that you can put them in the uh, dumpster if you have a house on trash day so we only got five fish so I can put the heads in the guts right in here freeze them um, without my wife knowing and then trash day because today was trash day so we'll put them in uh, in the freezer let them freeze and we'll get them in the garbage for Thursday's trash man so that's that. Let's uh, get the heads and the guts off of these. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right behind the head here using my Outrigger Outdoors blade, man. Y'all get y'all one of those, outriggeroutdoors.com. Promo code HC10, man. Really sharp knife, but we're gonna go just behind the head here. Just one smooth cut, hope you saw that. That's gonna come off, and let me tell you something. Everything's gonna come out with it. Boy, it's gonna come out with it. Boy, I'm gonna come out with it. Boy, I got to quit dropping stuff, man. I'm gonna put that in the video, I don't even care. But listen, everything will come out with it. All the innards and all that, it'll all come out all 
together. And look here, I'm just gonna take all the junk and put them right in here. Now, all you have to do is clean out the body cavity. So I'll cut down, I'll cut down. This fish is really slippery. All right, open him up. If anything else that's left in there, you just wanna take out. Shouldn't be a whole lot on these little fish. Last thing you have to do is to wash it out. And that is a cleaned whole yellow bass. We got a few more to do. <laughs> They're super slippery. Look, that's, that's catfish bait right there. We are not doing anything new. We got these babies scaled, gutted, beheaded, and cleaned, ready to go. They're so small, I didn't even decide to fillet them. Probably could have did it just because my filleting skills are just crazy like that, but we're not gonna do that. We got some cornmeal mix because that's all I could find at the store. I was tired and I didn't want to go from store to store looking for some straight up cornmeal. So we got some yellow cornmeal mix. Trying to tell you something. If you think you better than me when it comes to frying fish, put it in the comment section because I really believe, man, it is hard to beat me frying these fish. It's just hard to do. Um, let me go get my mustard and let's keep this party going. Listen, right now is a great time to make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man, so that you can be notified of all the hot content. Remember, man, every Thursday night we're going live um, on the channel where we talk about everything outdoors, fishing, hunting, all that good stuff. We end that thing in prayer, so you don't want to miss that. Um, yeah, and it goes down. Let's go get this mustard. Listen, I put these in one at a time. I'm real specific. Real specific about how I do this part. The clean hand, however you want to call it. Check out all the excess. And that right there is what we got. Uh, my grease has been heating up for a while. Oh yeah, you put just a little bit of cornmeal in there and it's just a quick sizzle. I tell people all the time, man, I watch these guys fry their fish, and as soon as it goes in, there's no popping, there's no crackling. They ain't frying it, is all I can think. Like, man, what are you doing to this fish? So, I want y'all to see. I'm, I'm about to give y'all a close-up. I want you to see what it looks like when you fry something, and you put whatever you're frying in the hot grease. You ain't gotta be scared. You ain't gotta drop it in there and do all that crazy stuff. You ease that joke in that hot grease and it's gonna sizzle. It's supposed to sizzle. Watch this. Those fish are ready to come out. We're gonna fry them just a little bit longer though to make sure those fins and, and the inside, the body cavity gets done. Um, but we got, we have set ourselves up with some paper towel. You know I'm gonna hit it with the lemon pepper when it comes right out of the grease. I mean, as soon as it comes out, I get it on the paper towel, it's gonna get hit with lemon pepper. Second one. All right, so what I just tell y'all. Look, we don't want to douse it. We want to make sure we're using the sprinkle here. We're just going to sprinkle. Look. Look. Right. 
trying to tell you something, boy. Look, that might be some of the ugliest frying I've done. I don't know why they turn black like that. Maybe yellow bass with the skin on just turn that color. We'll find out. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the last three that we got. And it's time to say grace and eat. Y'all ready? Come here. See the TV. We don't trophy fish. We grocery fish, baby. Y'all know what time it is. Listen, and if he's hand size, he pants size. And what we're gonna do, listen, there's an art. There's an art to eating whole fish. Ooh, that thing is hot. Woo! Boy, that thing is hot. But man, let me tell you something. Let me just peel some of this back so y'all can see it. So you know with sand bass, there's a whole lot of bloodline and all that kind of stuff. And that is just not the issue with this yellow bass, man. Look there. Somebody look at this. These fish can be caught with jigs like we did today. Man, man, man. Uh, they can be caught on minnows. They can be caught on worms. I mean, they are really an aggressive fish but man let me tell you something man yeah. man <laughs> i don't know if the fish is good or i just know how to fry fish like that whoo somebody call my mom i need i need to slap some i need to slap somebody leisha Come here, I need to slap you. If I can't slap my mama, I will slap little mama. Whew, boy. I'm telling you, man, that is a really white meat fish. Look at that. Look at that. That's a really white meat fish, really clean fish. Doesn't have a real fishy taste or flavor. It does not remind me of sand bass at all. Don't have to worry about a bloodline. And there's usually a billion of them where you find one. <laughs> Listen to me, truck. God, I wish I had some. I do got some. I'm going to get me some. Lip. If you can't catch nothing but yellow bass, don't let nobody talk down on yellow bass like it's not a good table fare. Listen to me. Simple to clean. We literally clean those fish in like, I mean, no time flat, man. Really clean fish. Look, I'm gonna do this just for y'all. I keep hearing people say, eat the tail. I can, I can hear it in the comment section. They say when it's fried hard, which this is, it's like a potato chip, let me see. Hmm. I'm good on that, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Listen, this thing is going to look like one of those cartoon skeletons here in the minute. Because, I mean, man, that thing is good, man. Listen, simple cornmeal, a little bit of mustard. Mm, mm, mm. And then lemon pepper on the end. That little fish makes a heck of a dish. It's your boy, Fish Ken Hook City TV, man. Look, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm out, chill.